Voice of the Sea, learning from experts across the ocean. Welcome to Voice of the Sea. This time on Voice of the Sea, we're at the Pacific Aquaculture and Coastal Resources Center at UH Hilo. So Michael, you've just been hired here to work um, in the aquaculture facility, mm -hmm. but you used to be a student here at UH Hilo, so what are you doing now? Well, um, I studied uh, marine science at UH Hilo and um, emphasized aquaculture. Actually worked with Maria back in uh, 06 and uh, loved it so much, loved aquaculture that I uh, wanted to pursue a career in it. Uh, moved over to Kona, worked for Big Island Abalone for four and a half years. I loved it over there, good crew over there. Um, and then was offered this opportunity, which couldn't refuse come back uh, to Hilo and um, work with the oysters, work with Maria again. And uh, so I'm back, do that again, um, and uh, help run this hatchery we got going on. Right on, so where are we standing now? Right, right now, um, this is our bag system. Um, after the algae leaves the lab, um, we bring them out here and we start these bags. Um, we talked, we kind of briefly talked about the types. Well, this is our catoceros side, and this is uh, our isocrisis side. Um, the isocrisis is better for the, uh, the smaller um, babies, but um, the combination of the two uh, provides an optimum diet for, for them. Um, so the way this works is um, actually we have to pasteurize the water and all the nutrients really? that go in here because it has to be completely sterile or else um, the bag will crash and we got to start over again. Um, so over on this side over here we run our water, we heat it up and then we do a quick chill to uh, prevent any um, bacterial growth and then it passes through a series of filters as well as a um, um, UV um, light to uh, kill anything else. Um, and then we add nutrients to it and then it's all ran into these um, lines here. It's all pressurized and so using these valves you can adjust how much water and nutrients is going to each bag. Um, they fill up to basically an overflow um, point and then they flow down into the second set of pipes over into our two holding tanks here. Um, and they will collect in the two holding tanks and then the beginning of each day uh, we will pump however much we need of each type into that main tank you guys took uh -huh. a look at before and then we can feed them out to the oysters. So once they leave these bags and go into the holding tanks they never come back this no. direction? No, they don't. So the bag is just a continuous culture that uh, stays alive via the nutrients and the water going in and then the excess goes to the overflow and ends up in these tanks here. And this system, it, it's really remarkable looking. It's, it's actually kind of beautiful. Yeah. Is it, <laughs> is it I agree. novel or do they do this system in other places? Uh, this is a very common system. Um, it's uh, a little labor intensive, but it's uh, very easy to grasp. It's uh -huh. um, a very um, good learning um, system. Um, once you got it up and going, it's kind of self-containing. Um, you do have to maintain it, um, but uh, it for what it, you get, um, it works really well. Do you have to um, start over with new bags? It do, yeah, the bags do hit a, an expiration. Uh, they expire. They just either get contaminated or they just get too old. Uh -huh. And then we'll just take a bag down. And this is an area where we just took a bag down and then we'll start a new one. And this is a what they look like when we first start them. They start out low, we're, we're not harvesting this one, and we build its, um, its density up as it uh, goes up the, uh, the tube here. And then when it gets to uh, harvest, hopefully it's this dense, nice color. The University of Hawaii Sea Grant College program. Helping coastal communities of Hawaii and the Pacific through research, education, and outreach. Serving the community, from elementary to graduate students. Hawaii Sea Grant. The Curriculum Research and Development Group in the College of Education at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. CRDG's training routes go back over 40 years 
through professional development programs, curriculum workshops, research on teaching methodology, individualized school and district training, and so much more. The Curriculum Research and Development Group, Improving Schools, Improving Education, CRDG. Exploring Our Fluid Earth is the dynamic curriculum developed by the University of Hawaii's Curriculum Research and Development Group. The award-winning Fluid Earth and Living Ocean textbooks are now interactive and online. New activities, updated content, and a teacher community. Exploring Our Fluid Earth is now freely available. Find out more at exploringourfluidearth.org. NOAA Pacific Services Center, linking people to information and technology. The Pacific Services Center wants you to be prepared for any weather emergency and know your tsunami risk. NOAA Pacific Services Center, enriching life through science, service, and stewardship.